about how we can create a bullet chart um, inside Power BI Desktop. So what is bullet chart? Bullet chart is actually is a visual that help you to uh, actually create a multi-gauge uh, data. So for example, if you want uh, to show in the same time different gauges of the data based on different category, you can show that. For example, you want to show that uh, how we are successful and the sales amount compared to the last year based on different stores. So as you can see here, store one, store two, and store three. So this visual, actually, if you go to your Power BI desktop, if you go to the, uh, actually click on the three dots and click on get more visual, you will see that we have it there is one of the popular visual that we have. You can simply add it and you can actually use it in your data. So we are going to see that how we can create this visual also using Charticulator. So what I'm going to do actually, I'm going to uh, go to the uh, actually uh, Power BI to the Charticulator environment. So I will start. So if you remember, I'm using the Charticulator, click on launch. And I'm going to use a data that I have. So this data is kind of, I got it from um, Adventure Works. If you work with that, uh, it has, I kind of change it. So I get the data from 2007 uh, for different months. And also um, I have a data for the sales amount uh, through that. Uh, and also sales amount last year uh, and also the month. Yep, there's some kind of different things uh, we have, but you see that this is maybe uh, for different products. So in two December, for example, we have this one, but uh, in some of the months we don't have data for a specific bike. So just, I try to kind of clean it. I put a measure of the good and moderate based on my data. So it's not, maybe it's not valid for other uh, data set. So I just save it. Just don't save. I'm going to grab that one. I already put this data set inside a OneDrive link so you can access that. So the one that I'm going to show you uh, is based on two categories because I have a plot segment here. So in a plot segment, we have a X, we have a Y axis and X axis. So as you can see here. So that means that I can show it based on two category, uh, despite this one that actually uh, shows based on one category, we, we can actually show it based on two categories. So I'm showing based on the month and also based on English product uh, subcategory. That's, I just filter it to the mountain bike and road bike. Uh, so here, uh, what I'm going to do, uh, so in, if you watch my previous video about Charticulator, you always see that we have a, or we have a, some symbols that we put it here and shows the data points for us. Or if you want to create a bar chart, we create a bar chart like here, to show us that. So in this one, we are not going to use uh, actually neither of them. We are going to use a data access. Data access actually can help us to create a measure for the each point of the data. So let's see that how it works. So I click on that and I put it in the my chart area. You can see some things happen here. Uh, in the data access, I want to show my value that is sales amount. So you see that this is my sales amount. Uh, the maximum amount is 650,000, uh, 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 which is uh, the maximum one. I should change it, but just let me put the other scales. I will put the good amount. So good amount kind of average is here. This is the moderate and also I want to put the sales amount last year. So you can see everything is here, but uh, you see that under the glyph, we have data access. I want to make it a bit bigger. So increase the limit to 800,000. So one, two, three. Okay, so I have a data access that I can see the sales amount last year, 
the moderate amount what is good and what is the good amount what is the kind of the target and what is the current value so i need to uh, kind of classify them so i'm using the mark to say that okay from zero to have to moderate is actually it's if my data in that range is not really good so under the glaive under the shape one that is this one i'm going to say this should be red it's not a good value for the second one that actually start from moderate to good i said okay if in that space is kind of not bad but it's still not really good and the last part is from good to the end of the data that should be actually green that means that is really good so it's really important that you bind when you draw this actually uh, chart is actually attached to all of this important value because it's actually changed based on that now i need to define my bar chart that shows me my current value so i'm going to create a bar that attached to my current sales amount so just be careful is exactly n start from the zero to the n that is your current value and you can see that is change to make it visible i just make it a bit black also i prefer that it's go a bit higher uh, it's my shape for is a bit see this part is a bit oh no not that too much maybe i make it a bit hot yeah it's, just, it's better to be on the middle instead of that so maybe i just yeah just try to make it a bit up so i can see that so you can see that is different from each month to the each actually product subcategory the other things that i need to specify is the target value for this data my target value is the sales amount in the last year so i want to put a line that specify that again here so i have a line i should draw the line that actually attached to this amount so again i draw it and kind of connect it to the sales amount last year and you can see is actually change so this is a chart that actually we have and it actually shows everything you can um, put uh, bind the text to the each part of the data and show it and kind of export it uh, i uh, have a one that actually i already imported here this was this one i'm going to show you that how it actually works so this is my data Oh, it is based on demand. Sorry. Oops. This create a category for me. I'm going to put the mount here. And it needs good. It needs moderate. And it needs the sales amount for now and sales amount for the last year. So uh, as you can see here, it actually shows the data over here. So there's a difference between this and this, the one that we have. So here it just shows based on the, uh, actually based on the one category, but here we have based on two because we have a two scale data, but there is a way to just show one category over there. So um, I can show you that how we can do that. And you see that. So that's a kind of the thing. And uh, same as the other one, uh, if you click on that, you can change every many things here. You can change the data axis here, each of these shapes. So here uh, we have shape one and shape the other. Again, you can change the one. So when you back to the charticulator here and you export it, uh, to the power bi is actually ask you that uh, which object you want to show to the customer and you can change for example you just want to set it shouldn't be month it should be category so instead of the month value uh, month name you can have that one so i said category for example and i said uh, value i can say this is target number two uh, good and moderate yep yeah, that's a one uh, you can change and you can also I said uh, 
chart chart calculator so that's the one you can also upload any uh, actually icon you have it's going to download i'm going to import that one so three dot get more visual oh sorry three dot and get visual from a file import it so now i'm going to my download this is one it should be the same icon as the other one yep that's the one so you see that bullet articulator here i just duplicate this page to use the same one so just click on that and instead of using this one i want to use this one uh yep that's kind of some of the maybe i should check the some of the things but this kind of the using the same thing so the month the value the value and the other thing so maybe need some refresh but it's actually it should should shows the same things of the data sometimes the resolution i forget to remove that one so you see that is here that's important thing so i forget to tell you see that that's ugly thing so here on the data access you can set i don't want to see that so it's kind of make it better and again you can actually export it so just be careful about this thing so uh, say yep export it and let me export it again so this is number two there's a different one yeah So now it should be getting better. Hopefully, yeah, that's gone. And you can see that that's it. Kind of the, sometimes the resolution happen in the charticulator can be a different, but you can see actually, you can use it and the category and everything is there. Kind of the same thing. And uh, of course you can change the everything about this visual also, same as the other one. So you can um, change the uh, shape that is actually the colors that you want to have so for example you want to change it to something like this or you want to change the line color for example make it a solid line or the for example make it much bolder there so you can actually change it everything over here so this is uh, about the bullet chart that how we can use it uh, and i hope you enjoy it uh, there are lots of transformation and customization that you can add if i found it i definitely create a, another video about this about how to create a one category one and also how to kind of add more data transformation on that and uh, kind of customization more visual thanks so much for watching